My name is Cesare Sochi and I work at the Center for Disruptive Photonic Technologies at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. We work on uh, nanophotonics, which is the attempt to merge nanotechnologies with photonics. So photonics is the science of manipulating photons and nanotechnology is, uh, is the science of making structures at a very small scale. So what our research tries to do is to pack as many photons as possible in a very small footprint to eventually build up a computer that uh, uses photon as well as electrons. One thing I wished everyone knew about quantum is that uh, quantum is not an abstract scientific idea but it's really how the world uh, is and once you start uh, looking into that you realize that uh, reality is not as it looks like. Uh, you start looking at the very small sizes, uh, the very high energies, you realize that things appear different from the conventional ways we, we look at it through our eyes and uh, sometimes they are very counterintuitive. Quantum Technologies is exciting because uh, it opens up opportunities to do communication, uh, computation in a way that's completely new and uh, perhaps more powerful uh, based on the uh, basic principles of physics that we know and that we now want to bring to applications. I enjoy doing research because uh, uh, research is the best uh, uh, job in the world. We can wake up in the morning with some ideas and go to work to find out the answers. I think one of the hardest thing is uh, uh, that, that science is becoming global. It, it is a global effort and so if you want to do science in specific areas you need to move around, uh, uh, be in several places. I started from Italy, moved to the United States, uh, ended up in Singapore and who knows where, where uh, uh, the cycle will end up. Maybe not for the next five years, but uh, uh, even 10, 20 years. One of the most rewarding things for, for a researcher is to see technologies get into uh, uh, real applications. Some examples involve uh, uh, sensors, for example. This is one of the areas where quantum sensors for, for magnetic fields will be seen uh, soon. Quantum communications is a mature area already used by some banks and uh, government institutions uh, to encrypt uh, data and uh, who knows maybe soon we'll be able to see that uh, technology uh, getting into our phones and uh, encrypting our WhatsApp uh, messages. I, I've never seen so many buses by the way when you when you need one there's there's never one going through but <laughs>